welcome to episode 37 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge, where nothing at all is going to go wrong at all. At all. Um, what have we got for you this evening? Well, we've got a whole host of Bombermans. Yes, many of the game Bomberman, but it feels wrong calling it Bombermen. So, um, yeah. It may, may, may get a little bit samey. Perhaps some of these games might not even be traditional Bomberman. We'll find out. They've got Bomberman in the title. Who knows? The sneaky programmers and games developers. Who knows what we're going to get? Um, I haven't really looked. So even after last week, um, it was only at four o'clock. That somebody was going, have you checked that everything works? And I was like, no, not yet. Should I? So uh, so we, we tried a couple. And a couple work. So, you know, we'll see what happens. So without any further doubt, uh, ado, not a doubt, ado, go over to the box and we'll uh, free up this space for some bomber man. Here we go. Um, okay, then. We're going to start... Really, I should do them in the order they are on the list. Um, but we're going to do them... I'll try and do them chronologically for you. And we'll see what we get. I, th I think we might be starting not chronologically, as it turns out. Because I feel the SG-1000 is probably the oldest. Then the NES. And then the Game Boys. But we're going to start with the Game Boys because we um, we like using our new screen that Nutty Cluster created for us, don't we? So we're going to start with Bomberman GB. Um, that must mean green and black. Is that what... I'm, I'm joking. Um, then we've got Pocket Bomberman. And then we're going to move to the Game Boy Advance. So, um, let me get you a screen. And we'll get cracking. Oh, don't tell me they don't have names. That's going to be a nightmare. Oh, that's better. Whew. Ah. Yes, I'm feeling more optimistic about this, this episode. You know, what what could possibly go wrong? Oh, that could go wrong. When's it going to drop off the screen? There it goes. Right. Okay, so um, I, I don't know how much any of you know about Bomberman, but basically, it's a bit mazy. It's a bit... A bit... Um, Mr. Dewey, perhaps? Um, basically, you, you run around and you try and blow shit up. Let's see how we get on, shall we? should move around on the screen you can see when I move it around down here. Oof. Ah, we've got the trusty uh, joypad. The 8-bit do. And we've got some story. Now, this is one of the games that I did test. And it's... Um... It did make me feel that we weren't... It wasn't going to let us um, get past the story. Which would be diabolical if that was the case, wouldn't it? Oh! So, let's see what happens. See, normally I can press buttons and get past that. Oh, start works. <coughs> okay, we'll go with story, shall we? 
in the hope it'll give us something a bit different. Oh, you can't see the whole Christmas tree. I'm going to have to sit back like this. Because it's nearly Christmas, you know. Did you know that? I know, I know. It's not December yet. I just thought I'd wear it in because it's new, you know? <laughs> We'll start with Muddy, because... Oh. Can you watch it? There you go, that's the basic dynamic. Run up, drop your bomb, run away. The chat room may have just let me know if the music's a little bit loud. Or indeed I am. See, this is you. Drop your bomb. Get out of its way. And ostensibly, it's easy as that. But you'll find out um, very soon, in fact, that it's uh, more difficult than it looks. Like now. Oh, wasn't contrary. I'm talking to you, guys. Got mints. Let's start with this one, first, shall we? Sneaky. Oh, I was hoping he'd walk into it. Um, he does look like the Hamburglar. Weirdly enough. Oh, and I have to wait now, and I bet he comes right this time. I knew it! Twat! I do play normally better than this. Honest, Gov. I had a time on this. Oh shit. Trap myself. We're not letting it rest at that. Now have I still got two bombs? No, I haven't. That's disappointing.
fast as I can. Oh well, at least we got past one round. Really long bombs now, I'm gonna have to be super careful. He says as he bats to die. Oh no! Oh no! Oh bloody D-pad. Honestly, deeper. It really is. Goodies. The entrance there is. There we go. That was Bomberman GB. Grey and black. Um, so, let's move on to uh, Pocket Bomberman. Um, I can only assume it's just going to be a different story. It's got to be a similar game. Um, let me get to Pocket Bomberman. 
Yes, heavy clouds. Heavy black pendulous. I got a sword. We're just gonna go normal. Oh look at all these choices. Oh, no choices, I can't move around. Guess we work our way up. Yes we do. Oh, okay, not the same game. All oh, right, what have we got here then? Right, that's a bomb. Do I have a jump? Don't have a jump. Alright, I can't. Oh, we do have a jump. Um, so. Doesn't feel as good. feels a little bit like, I'm gonna, yeah, this feels a little bit like that Godzilla game we played, where it's kind of like, down, down. Actually, it feels a little bit like, can I? Oh, I can. I've got anti-gravity bombs, I can... Carried away. All right, so this is good. This is a different kind of game. It involves the same sort of mechanics, but you're not running around the maze. So let's try again. Let's see if we can. Um... Let's make sure I don't get my uh, jump on my bomb mixed up. Oh yeah. Didn't see what that was, I just knew I had to get it. Oop. We know this is an extra life. Oh, we've done it again! Oh shit! Not far enough away. Effie Jeff. I'm sure I want the roller skates. They make me move so fast I can't control myself. Go back the other direction, you shit. Again. Come on, got 
Let's get, at least get past the first bloody shit. Let's not get our jump and our um, bomb mixed up this time, shall we? sessions all perky and then um, my playing ability just saps my will to live come on now we've got further than this Jumping bomber man. level and then we'll move on to the game by advance. Oh no, I, am I at risk of blowing away some stuff I need to walk on?
that jump and place my bomb parry. There we go. Nutty Cluster. No, you don't run out of bombs. Um, but you end up with really powerful bombs that you um, can kill yourself with, if you're not careful. Bloody roller skates. Go on, you ass wiggler. Go over that way. It's not impervious, because I blew it up but after I was dead. Don't know why I picked them up again, I complained about them, didn't I, just a minute ago. Turn after these messages. And say, let's move to the Game Boy Advance. Um. Oh, not if we're doing it chronologically. Oh, we're not doing it chronologically, are we? Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We're not doing it chronologically. We're doing it any way I see fit. Here we are. I'm afraid so. Um, so let's shift back over to here because um, the Game Boy Advance is kind of widescreen. 
Let's see, where are you? There you are. Bomberman Tournament. Okay, there you go, Hudson, the producers of Bomberman. Oh, we're on the rim of something. Bomber Galaxy. standard because it'll be the first time you've seen a standard here we go a standard bomberman map and the idea is to kill the other people and they're all controlled by computers so they're gonna whoop my ass Now that I'm dead, it um, puts me in the audience and I can throw bombs at them. That's not a mechanic that I've seen before. So they're still trying to kill each other. Red one. So yes, I'm the little white guy. I don't have a lot of chance of winning against um, against three computers, especially when I play like an umpty. Oh, especially when I run into my own fucking ball. Should have put it on easy, shouldn't I? Indicated that I was the one that got him in the end. Didn't count as a win though. See, that's the thing, playing against other bomberman um, it's a lot more stressful. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I got him and trapped myself. <laughs> Gonna see a lot of this tonight. Me running into blind alleys and getting bombed. Oh, I wish there was a better expression. But you know what I mean. Oh. Oh, done it again! Fucking hell! Got him! Nice. Enjoyed that. I mean, it, it's good that you can get put on the sidelines and throw bombs because when I used to play it on my Amiga, when you were dead, you were out. But at least there's a way of getting revenge. You won't, you won't win, but you could stop one of the other colours from winning. I don't know how many matches this goes on for. Is it till one of them gets to four or something? Oh, it's three-point match. I should have read that. So he's got three points. So blue wins. Blue wins. There we go. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. I'm not sorry, is it? What's this? I can't, I'm, not, I'm not even controlling that. Yay, roller skates. Uh, no. Oh, I can't pause it. Can't pause it that way, but I can pause it that way. Uh, so there you go, Game Boy Advance. Um, as you can see, it's a lot better looking. We're going to be looking at ones that are a lot worse looking as we work down this list. Turn after these messages. Uh, especially as we're going to the NES next. One of the earlier versions of it. Um, so, NES, you say. I do say. This should be just a bog standard bomber man. I don't think we're going to have any surprises with this one. See what I mean? Oh, 
Slightly more pedestrian, if we're uh, if we're being honest. This is why doing them in chronological order is probably a better idea. But too late now. running around with bare feet. me having controller issues and it's not going the way I'm pushing it right. I know that the point of the game is to kill the, uh, the monsters Some shite, huh? This is the other annoying thing about Bomberman is when you die, you're starting at the same. You start again. You don't start at this. Oh, fucking hell. It's the most cutting thing when you bomb yourself into a into an alley and you can't get out literally a dead end Yeah, they do have a smiley face on when they get blown up, don't they? I wish they'd move where they look like they're moving to as well. Not the, the erratic movement. Oh. I think we're going to play the SG-1000 version after this. I think that's the next oldest one that I've got. Um, we'll get these old ones out of the way. Do it once! Oh. 
So you need to blow some of these to find the exit as well, because the exit's behind one of these. That's Bomberman on the NES. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I've had enough. I've had enough of that. Uh, what did I say? SG-1000. Right, we'll, um, we'll have a look at the SG-1000 next. Uh, I do have Windows open for the N64, but I feel that's probably a little bit way further down the list. And I have a horrible feeling there'll be a horrible... Like 3D, uncontrollable ones, but maybe we'll do them next. Because then, if, if they are uncontrollable, then at least we've got. Ooh, what a horrible noise! Um, if they are, are uncontrollable, at least we've got them out of the way. Um, so then. We probably need to um, sort out what we're going to do during December at some point, um, especially on the lead up to Christmas. Um, I've only got I've only got the dates written down for uh, for snugs, um, so I don't have retro lounge dates written down at the moment. I know. I I suppose we can work it out. Because next week is the 5th of December um, on a Monday. But we will be doing the show on a Tuesday next week. I'll tell you later on so you don't forget. Um, so the week after that will be the 12th. Then the 19th. And then probably we won't do Boxing Day. Let's see how we feel on the 19th, shall we? Um, I'm going to be off work, so we might possibly just do some some random games, maybe. Um, I have a bunch of Christmas games ready for um, for something. So possibly the 19th, we might... Um... Oh, thank you, Nutty Cluster. 5th, 12th, 19th, 26th. I think we worked it out, but there is a bit of a delay. But thank you. Um... So yeah, we might we might miss the twenty six, possibly the week after, but at the, their standard retro lounge. But we might twitch in between those times with just random stuff. We might try a few things for the new year, you know, like um, possibly the collab cam or the guest star cam. We might give that a go um, and stream some games like that with. Um, Nutty Cluster, maybe, because um, we're uh, we're working on a on a bit of a spin off. I say working, it's in our heads. Um, bit of a spin off, which maybe we'll talk about later on. That sounds horrible. Anyway, Bomberman Man on the SG One Thousand. Can I start it? Yes, I can. There it is. That's like shooting duck in a barrel, that one. That wasn't fair. Ooh. Can't get away! Wow, you can hear that it's, it's totally...
أو أفنى It does, doesn't it? Um, do you know what we can do, though? We can uh, turn it down a little bit. What the... What, what the hell? Oh, I've pressed pause now. I can't unpause it. <laughs> Come on, which button is it? When in doubt, kick it out. It's not like we got very far. So, there's something a bit weird, and I know I'm always complaining about my controller, but there's something a bit weird about this. It's, it's more jerkier. Like, look at the way he's, he's doesn't doesn't know if he wants to go left, right, backwards, forwards. Not enough. Still not enough. Very nicely at all. Cat seem to. Look. It is something to do. I'm sure it's something to do with the joypad, but it's more of the way that it's interpreting the joypad's movement than anything else. It really, really needs you to be precise. I wish it would move the whole screen like that. It makes me go blah. Guy right, knew I was trying to trap it. Two left, it says. That means I have to go back, doesn't it? Oh, where are they? Can't go up. That's as up as I can get. Maybe I didn't go far enough right. I'm used to seeing all my Bomberman all on one level. Oh. I assume I need to find an exit as well. Oh, 
Might it's, mm, I don't know then. Why it said left two? Oh, nearly got me there. Oh, Hershey's Kisses! In, um... Animate form! Nom nom nom! These look like chasers to me. Not in the good way. Can't get out of the way. Jittery controls. It's not going to work this, is it? Oh. I knew it was going to do that, didn't you? What do you mean stop blaming the con- I'm only blaming the controls because it's the controls that are the problem. This has got to be the worst interpretation of the controls that I've played so far. It's not me. I'm having to take my thumb off the pad between each movement. I can't go like left and up because it goes Dick. Next time we die, we're done for this game. I do wonder if the um, if the emulation is 
what's making the sound wrong. Because surely people wouldn't have put up with this. SG-1000! Um, so where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? Uh, I guess we don't know how it's going to play. So, I've already said about the N64. We've also got an NDS game as well. Which sometimes we have problems with. Um, so... In that case, let's switch to an N64 and see uh, see how well we can play that, shall we? We'll return after these messages. Let's start with Bomberman Hero, because that's that seems like it's gonna be the most weirderest. Oh Houston. There we go. I don't have very high hopes. Um, so if you remember, the N sixty four controllers had sticks out the wazoo and. Plenty of buttons. Oh, I think I might be due for some more painkillers. Uh, let's see what we get, shall we? Let's let's just start at the start. Bomberman hero. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, we're on analog sticks. How do I turn around? Not like that. Okay. So, okay. So. on that. Oh, I did wonder if I needed to jump on them. Oh, don't seem like you can get up there. So I'm guessing that the stick that I've got missing from my controller is what turns the camera around. Because all I can do is that. And that. Well then. This is go this is a game that takes hours to learn, innit? By the looks of it. 
They look like, well, they look like dancing chickens. That's what they look. I mean, I'm hoping one of the objects of the game is to stop that freaking noise. Right, I can't come any, more, any further forward. So... Oh, we loved our 3D games in the bloody 90s, didn't we? Oh. Tap the R button. Or C down. Okay. These are not relevant to me. Just being trained. But there's a. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a wow, wow, wow noise in, and I don't know what frequency it is, but it's messing with my head. Yeah, like Timmy Mallet on Ballerina. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. Myself rather than uh, do you bomb the chickens? You do. Yeah, chicky, chicky, chicky. Probably um, at the end of this one. Uh, sorry, I was I was I looked down and my um, my stream deck's got a spinny icon on it, and I was like, "Oh, oh, what's that?" 
Um, to, oh, it's annoying. Okay. Uh, I I appreciate what you're saying, and concur. So, and that's why we played it first, because I had suspicions. Um, but now we're going to try the other N64 one. And we're going to look at uh, Bomberman 64 Arcade Edition, uh, which is a Japanese title. So, holy moly, who knows? Um, but with it being arcade, I was expecting it to, I expect it to be more like what we've seen, running around the Look how nice it looks. I'm just going to press the first things that come along and hope that it starts a game for us. Yep. Definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Whoa, he's fast. Oh, shit. Wow, I hope I don't pick up any roller skates. This guy is super fast. Wow. These are the Hershey Kisses, aren't they? That we saw before.
Au! Oh, it was going up there as well. Yeah, bastard. I mean, it's possibly the cutest one we've played so far.
We have a lot to get through, and we're um, we're past halfway in. We'll return after these messages. Uh, let's have a quick look at the DS, shall we? Uh, which does mean we have to move to the unprepared vertical screen. Uh, my apologies. Um, there's no marquee or anything in here for you, but uh, it is a DS. Um, which means we might not even be able to play it. Because it's... Um, Vertical and touch screen and all sorts of shenanigans. So let's uh, see what happens, shall we? Now on the Steam Deck, when it emulates the DS, it does them side by side. It does like both screens together. So you can see what the top screen would have been showing. Um, and you've got slightly less play area. But yeah. Oh, hello. Bomberman! Bomberman! Touch to start, never a good sign. Luckily we've got a mouse. One of those buttons did some up. All right, so very much the same. A lot slower, though. All right, that's the... Uh... Substantially slower when you've been playing that arcade, the N64 arcade version. Wow. It's the exit, is it? Looks like it. So obviously now you've got an inventory in your bottom screen by the looks of it. Oh, too brave. What? Should we got both here? A bit of a stalemate going on there.
Uh, so springs from salt in in the chat room um, asking is this live uh, yes yes it's uh, not if you watch it on YouTube later on no but it's currently Monday the 28th of November at uh, 28 minutes past eight do I need to hold up a paper like proof of life? See, this bomber man feels like he needs roller skates. This feels like um this music sounds feels like a foreign country's World Cup song or some such from the 80s or maybe a Eurovision Song Contest entry piss off one more attempt and then we're um, oh gonna move on so much to do so little time I'm sure I've picked up bombs, but I can't. You don't have um, the option to use those bombs. All right, I need to find the um, exit. Hey, have we got naughty language in the uh, in the chat room? Not sure I can edit that out, you know. Retro Lounge is. Um, I was going to say Retro Lounge is a family show, but after the swearing I've been doing at Bomberman, I can't really say that. I can. Don't know where the exit is. There it is. Yeah, only I can swear. Because I can edit the audio out later. I can't edit the chat room on the YouTube video. I suppose it could blur you out, I guess. Uh, look, I'm conscious time's getting on. Um, we're an hour and a half in. And um, we've definitely got to do the Mega Drive version or poof, not close to what, forgive us. Um, so 
I'm just going to start a whole bunch. While the hard drive's spinning. Ooh, did I get that one? Yes, there I did. Um, and what we're going to do is... Um, do you know what? We're going to play the Mega Drive one next. Naughty Cluster uh, is um, the Mega Drive aficionado. Loves a Mega Drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the Mega Drive one next. Ah, uh, Springs from Salts. Um asking when we're going to um, be doing two-player games. And um, before she arrived, we were talking a little bit about what we might do over Christmas. Um, of which, bringing Nutty Cluster on to play some sort of game. Um, maybe one of the experiments we do, a Christmas experiment. And then, if that works, we might invite other people, perhaps. Okay. Uh, so this one, being on the Mega Drive and all, uh, you'd be surprised to learn it's called Mega Bomber Man. Uh, it's nearly tablet time, chat room. Yes, yes, it is. Um... So Mega Bomber Man, we've also got Saturn Bomber Man, which you'd be surprised to learn is on the Saturn. Um there might be the same game. Which will save us some time. Oh. Why is he on the kangaroo? Jamming jungle. Okay. I shouldn't just press all the buttons, should I? I should work out what's doing what. One assumes that you blow up the um, cute bunnies. I like you, uh, blow up. Oh, why did I do that? Certainly music of its time, innit? Maybe I shouldn't have blown that up. A little bit concerned now, I must admit. Oh no! Thing in the middle is um, I feel that I might have mistakenly blown it up last time I don't even know why I'm on a kangaroo to be honest with you I can't see any benefit
feel that the thing in the middle is the exit. Or your spaceship. Oh no! There you go. You have to get it. Oh, you get points for all the stuff you don't blow up. Interesting. Well, it will sound like a wet fart when you drop a bomb. It's the Mega Drive sound chip. Dead Dave. Oh, what's into it? Effety, Jeffety. It's a bloody snail and all. I should have been able to get past that. Time, time was ticking on, and I'm, my reactions are starting to slow down again. Uh, right, that was uh, Mega Drive. So I think we should try Saturn Bomberman because I feel it might be the same. So let's do that straight away. Um... We'll return after these messages. Even though we've got a SNES version of it, which won't be as, as nice looking. Um, and at the rate we're playing them, we might end up playing a Virtual Boy one, uh, which is going to be weird in 3D. Anyway, Saturnio. We'll just play the step. We'll have a look at the starting and see if it's the same. Oh, different start. Oh, harsh.
feels like the starting of a Saturday morning cartoon, doesn't it? Planet, planetary destruction. Destruction, even. Although it would be quite disruptive as well, I guess. Alright, well, I think it might be different then. We don't have time for story. Come on. Okay. I'm assuming I'm just going to bomb everything that moves. Feels like they're the robots from the other game. Uh, that's right. Springs, it is. Um, airing on the cute side. Obviously, the Saturn um, came after the Mega Drive, so it's more powerful. killed everything surely okay well that's weird almost like hey do you want to move on to the next level you don't need to finish this one go on treat yourself go on the teacup ride Do that. Oh, <laughs> holy fucking shirt balls. Ah, call Pokemon. I've got no idea what it's for, unless it's just to increase the cuteness.
Right into it. Bombing face. Do one more level, then we'll move on. Start. Start. <laughs> And again, bitch tits. pause for a moment because it's easier to edit the video if I'm not moving when the hard drive speeds up and I can just cut it out. Or I was thinking about bitch tips. Yeah. Run, 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 run. the exit. Ah, oh, there you are. Okay, there you go. That was Saturn Bomberman. Um, I quite enjoyed that one. Yeah, that was alright. 
So, we should do, we should do the SNES one um, briefly next because I have the feeling it's not going to be great looking. Uh, sorry, this is Bomberman 2. Is it? Or am I talking out of my ass? No, it is Bomberman 2 on the SNES. Um, so I thought, you know, it would be good. Um, it would be good to see a, a, a different, not you know, not just Bomberman, or Bomberman Two. Oh. Yeah, no story. We're just going straight in. Which button is it? Oh, stop! Weird. Getting your fart bombs back like you like. would have been an inauspicious start. Right, what do the magnets do? Why do I have magnets? I see. See. Do we need these? Oh, I didn't want roller skates. Makes it a lot harder to control. Oh, see, ran right into him. Flipping roller skates. Well, that wasn't fair going up there like that. What's that instead? Scrawny bird like bastard. the magnets. reason the doors haven't opened. 
Is it not the door? Is it that white? Uh... Nope. You have to bomb it to open it. Notice we got to bleed in two hours again. What is what's going on? Oh, now I've got lots of different things. So that was Bomberman on the SNES. Um, now I have two. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Let's um, let's have a look at the Virtual Boy because that's the, the going to be the weirdest one. I'm sure of it. Um, it's actually called Panic Bomber, and the reason I've got it, it why where it sort of failed my Bomberman search is that I um. I must have got it off a list of Bomberman games. And I do have another one on the Turbo Graphics called Bomberman Panic Bomber. So this might not even be a Bomberman game. Let's find out, shall we? Welcome to the Virtual Boy. Oh, I do have one. It's got a broken stand. Um, but other than that, it works fine. So, yeah, it looks like it is. Now, we've tried to play some 3D games on here, and we're going for very easy because, by crikey, oh. All right, not what I expected. All right, we won't play this for very long. Um, because <coughs> it is Bomberman. It's still got the Bomberman tune and everything. See, this is one where... The 3D obviously doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Because I can't even see where the 3D would be. Do I need to move a bit faster? Not the time of night for moving fast. See if we can whoop his ass and then um Yay! 
there we go. Um, every character's got to have some sort of Tetris spin-off, by the looks of it. But um, and that was it. Panic Bomber. So we we assume then that the next one we're going to play, Turbo Graphics Panic Bomber, might be the same game. But that was the Virtual Boy. Um, let's do that one first, and then just see if that is the case. Because uh, if there is, there's well, other than it being full colour rather than red. Oh, very colourful. I'm very Japanese. He feeling? He feeling it? He feeling what I'm feeling? Other than tired. Yeah, same game. More colours. Oh look, you say. Oh, that's unusual. This is a Turbo Graphics game that plays um, with the D-pad rather than the uh, analog stick. Well, I don't think we need to play this, do you? Uh, we know what it is. So, there you go. Panic Bomber on the Turbo Graphic CD. And we're going to end tonight with a quick look at a... No, we're not. We've played it. We've played it. That was the last game. So, I was going to play your Bomberman 94 on the Turbo Graphic 16 or the PC Engine, depending where you are. Um, but it's it's Mega Drive. Um, it's Mega Bomberman. So, so that's everything. That's everything. Uh, which means it's time quite promptly. And, and I'm sorry for the jarring transition, but we're going to the wheel. Yes, there we are, the wheel, and it doesn't arrive until I bob. There you go. So then, uh, these are the things that we've got. Um, so, so, yeah, yeah. Next week's show will be a normal show, except it'll be on Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Let's see what happens as we spin the wheel. Oh, you see? It must have heard you. Must have heard you. So this is, um, this is, uh, I've got lots of Hanna-Barbera type games. We've got some Tom and Jerry. Basically, I'm going to look through and we're going to do part one. Because these are thousands of games that are cartoony based. But I'm talking about pre-existing cartoons. Because we've obviously just watched the Bomberman cartoon for all intents and purposes. These are Looney Tunes and and their like um, Simpsons, perhaps that sort of thing. So um, so yeah, wow, there we go. Um, so then let's switch back to the big screen. Hello. Uh, so don't forget, next week it's Tuesday at 7. Tuesday at 7. Because Monday is my birthday and I'm going out. So Tuesday. Um, but if you want, you can get hold of us. Uh, and uh, if you've got any, I mean, if you've got any cartoony games that you think we should look at, then um, email us, retro at uh, snugradio.co.uk r-e-t-r-o retro at snugradio.co.uk um, that's also the website snugradio.co.uk we're also on Facebook and Twitter while it still exists as Snug Radio where we post when we're going live so if you follow us on Facebook or Twitter you should never miss a post follow us on Twitch yeah, and you know you get a notification when we're going live um, 
What else can you do? Well, you can go to uh, YouTube. Uh, if you're not watching it live now on a Monday night, then we're on YouTube at uh, on Snug Radio. And everything you see here gets edited down and put, put on YouTube. Uh, there's also a bunch of our live shows that we do on a Wednesday night. The the proper, the main show, The Snug. Um, we're also on TikTok. Is there anything I've um, forgotten? I don't think so. I did them in a different order, so I've just forgotten. Uh, we're everywhere. We're Snug Radio. Uh, if you could give us a like, a share, um, a subscribe would be nice for Christmas. Give a subscription for Christmas. Um... What else? Get a comment on the video un underneath the video on YouTube. Join us on our Discord server. The link will be underneath this video uh, if you're watching it on YouTube. And um, in the highlight if you're watching it on Twitch when it's not live. So, uh, yeah, share with a friend. Uh, maybe we can get a, like a community, monthly community gaming event where we... now. Um, play Jackbox or Among Us or something like that. Um, so that would be nice. Share with a friend. And that's it. Uh, so we'll be back next week at a different time, but, but just for one week. And then um, as we get nearer to Christmas, we'll start discussing any special things we've decided we're going to do. Uh, so until then, I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Something retro. Goodbye.